Hey folks and welcome back to Old Car Guy. Today we are tackling the no start big problem. Basically what was happening was the crank was turning the in the uh, this thing here with the cogs on it. What the heck do they call it? Oh my goodness. The cam gear. Woo! Okay, let's try this again. So let's get back to the serviceability on this car. One of the things that I think is very impressive on this car is that in order to do the timing belt, it calls for about 6.2 booked hours um, on a, not a Chilton's manual, on a service manual. The car Guy and Six Fan Show is a car show, talk show, 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 show. I talked to <laughs> too many shows in there. Hey guys, and welcome back to Old Car Guy. Today we are tackling the no start but big problem on Project Schwagen. So let's jump right into it. So if this is your first time tuning into this channel, my name is Jason and you're watching Old Car Guy. And well, I bought a project vehicle. And if you remember the last video, it was the Volkswagen Passat that I had sold back in the spring. You see, the person that bought it ended up having troubles with it. I bought it back as a non-runner. So keep in mind, this is a 20-year-old car, 300,000 kilometers, and this is what's left of the timing belt. So this afternoon, I jumped into this while I was working, so I really didn't have time to grab the camera and show you guys everything that we did. You'll notice the bumper cover is sitting over there and the impact bar is here. We've got the park lights and the headlights sitting on the bench. The reason why we did it this way is simply because it is much easier to give yourself the room between the engine and the rad support by removing everything here and giving yourself a little bit of prying room to get your tools and hands down in front of the motor. Otherwise, you've got about two and a half, three inches not enough to crank on wrenches. So as you can see, the timing belt wasn't turning every time the engine was turning over. The reason for that was because we were missing some teeth right down here on this part of the belt, which was sitting on the small gear down at the bottom, which is the crank. So the crank would turn because it was stuck on the spot with no teeth on the belt, it wasn't turning the cam gear. We also took the leak down test kit and we hooked it up into cylinder number one once we got that verified on top dead center. And well, it had about 30% compression. So um, that tells me that when the timing belt did let go or the teeth let go on the timing belt that it likely bent some valves. So what's happened is I have ordered a timing belt kit for this vehicle and we're going to put it on and we're going to try and run the engine and see how bad of a miss there is. If it's not too bad, we just may drive it. If it's too bad, well, we're likely going to have to swap the motor on this thing. So, having said that, well, we're in a position of waiting on parts. Those should be here next week and we will tackle putting that timing belt on here and you guys will come along for that ride. So, uh, that's the update that we've got on the Volkswagen Passat here, the 2000 with almost 300k. It is a wagon and uh, again, if you followed any of the series before when we owned this, we put oversized tires on it and we're getting ready to put a lift kit on this thing as well. If everything goes according to plan, this is going to be my winter beater uh, this year and uh, my wife drove it last year and then we sold it and now we've got it back. so. We've got a little bit of work to do to it, and at this point, I'm into it for 500 bucks for buying the car, and about 130 bucks for the timing belt kit, and we'll get that done. I'm doing all the labor myself. So, it should be a pretty cheap investment. In the meantime, everything else seems like it's good on it. It does have a sunroof. It does have heated leather seats. It does have air conditioning and cruise control, and all of that stuff actually works. So the serviceability on this vehicle, when you take all this stuff apart on the front for a timing belt, uh, it books at 6.2 on a flat rate. So that kind of gives us, we don't charge flat rate by the way, that just kind of gives us an idea of how much time to set aside for doing jobs. So we got into this thing 
and probably it took me about 45 minutes to tear everything apart. So let me show you what I had to do. So first things first, we had to get the turn signals and the headlights out. Uh, so we got those done. There's just a couple of bolts here and here, and the turn signal actually is just held in with a spring clamp. Uh, that popped up out of the way. There is a screw that goes up through here. There's also one that goes through here that mounts in like so. You've got a screw on either side here, and you've got a couple of them that hold the bumper on across the front. Once you get the screws out on the inner fender, the bumper cover pulls right off with no issue. Then we had to get the radiator support out of the way, and which meant taking off the impact bar, and there was three bolts that held that on up in here. Once that was out of the way, a little bit of wiggling, and this thing kind of came flopping out. That gave us the extra room that we need to get in here on the front of the motor. This is also going to come in handy should we end up replacing the motor, which I'm anticipating we probably will, that we can actually get that thing disconnected from the transmission and pulled forward enough because we've already done this. Shouldn't have to do it twice, and I'm going to be on the lookout for a 1.8 liter turbo for this car. Last time I priced them up back in the spring, they were running right around five or 600 bucks. So I'm going to see if I can find one. Uh, we shouldn't be into it for too much more than that other than a few odds and ends. So that's the plan is to uh, get this thing up and running uh, within the next probably 30 days or so once we find a motor and get that put into the car. We'll be driving it. You guys are going to come along for the entire ride. Quick little update on Grandma. You guys have been asking for it. And yes, Grandma is getting some more videos. We've ordered a differential and we're gonna be swapping out the rear end. We've got new gears for it, and then we're gonna be putting a tune in it from Moe's Speed Shop because I wanna get a little bit more performance out of this car. I don't wanna sacrifice the comfortable ride, nor do I wanna to sacrifice too much of the fuel economy. So we're not going too high on the gears. We're going with 327s, and we, were, we are going with the locking differential, so that should give us some good power to the road and good traction, and hopefully it will help us out this winter with the traction issue. So anyways, that's what we've got coming up on Grandma. We've also got some uh, a sponsorship deal coming, like I said, on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show, which I'll get to in a second, with um, the Chrysler Cordoba. That is a future video coming up very, very soon. You guys, I hope you'll stay tuned to that. So the Car Guy and Six Fan Show is a live automotive talk show that myself and Grant Tommy, who is straight Six Fan, host on Thursday evenings. We're about halfway through season four and we're having a lot of fun we're learning a lot more about the operation of the show and how we want to move forward with it last week we did channel reviews we loved it you guys loved it so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a few more of those on our legacy episodes and we do have some guests coming up in the near future on my channel as well as grants and we alternate each week the show starts thursday evenings at seven o'clock central eight eastern and nine local time i hope you can join us and i will leave grants information down in the description box below you can head on over there and see what the fuss is all about we have a lot of fun guys having said all that stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you guys god bless let's do it again real soon